well, I'm not going to call it road legal. The headers have been wrapped with Kevlar. Everything has been stripped out. We even have plastic windows. What's up, guys? Welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Martijn. Today, it's not Max reviewing this car because I'll show it to you why. This has a fixed seat, so it's not adjustable. And the owner of this gorgeous Clio 3 RS is not as tall as Max is. So that's why it's up to me today to show you this car and show you how ridiculously cool this little car actually is. This, as you might know, is a Clio 3 RS. And that means that we have the nicest Clio Renault Sport has ever built. Well, maybe except for the Clio V6, but you know, that's a different breed. So what has been done to this car? If you just look at the dedication um, to make this into a racing car, it's absolutely insane. Everything has been stripped out and this car actually weighs 200 kilos less. That's a lot. I mean, as stock they weigh like 1280 and this is 200 kilos less. Let me show you the engine because that's the true party piece of this little Clio. I mean, look at all the serious hardware that is on this car. This is a two liter naturally aspirated engine. That's why we always love this gen of Clio RS because it has that big two liter, no turbos, no superchargers. It's just NA power. And this has the R3 carbon air box and exhaust. The kit they use on the rally cars, the Clio RS rally car. I mean, that is some serious hardware as is the exhaust and the suspension. This is a KW set. And as you can see, you can adjust the camber. You can adjust the stiffness. This is some serious stuff. Um, you might also see all the cool golden uh, reflection materials. That's for heat management. And as you can see, the headers have been wrapped with Kevlar. Um, let me close this up. That's to make sure that the button doesn't, you know, blow up into your face when you go super fast with this one. So this is to put your helmets in. Everything has been stripped out. We even have plastic windows and a full roll cage. And we are looking at the back of two custom made Recaro seats. That's some serious stuff. Uh, this is for the rear suspension to adjust them and what I do like about this one this is the facelifted model so you get the cool exhausts uh, the, the, the end pipes ex instead of the two little diesel-y exhaust as you might know that really looks cool and as I said this has the rally exhaust um, it does have a little silencer to keep it well, I'm not going to call it road legal. Well, if you go to the right garage, they will say that this is road legal. Let's keep it at that. This is also super light. Okay, let's close this up again. That's one, that's two. And this is a carbon rear spoiler to push down that rear axle. Uh, the owner actually uses this car for track driving. Well, there's no surprise there, I think. Uh, but he drives on the Nordschleife with this insane little Clio. And that's why he has also adjusted the gearbox. And as an example of his dedication, uh, I mean, this is insane. The gearbox has been configured with like five different Clio's. So he went for the first gear of a Clio, whatever, a second gear of a Clio, whatever, and a third gear of a Clio, whatever. But that's to like optimize it for the Nordschleife, just for the Nordschleife. So he knows which gear he needs 
of which crappy Clio for which corner. How awesome is that? That's insane. This little Renault Sport steering wheel, by the way, is of the Renault Sport Clio cup car. That's also really cool. I also really like this like velvet material. Really, really nice for the dash. And this shifter, super cool. You cannot, well, you can, but he hasn't gone for a short shifter. This is just a different lever. But uh, when you do get a short shifter for the Clio, you will break your gearbox because that's like the Achilles heel of the Clio 3 RS. These gearboxes aren't really that strong. Let's start it up. Or at least I thought we were going to start it up because I left my key in my pocket. That's such a stupid thing to do when you have a racing harness. Oh. Where is it? Okay, I think. Here it is. Oh, Jesus. Where do you put this little stupid thing? There we go. Oh my God, this is like an exercise. There goes my phone. Okay, tighten up these and let's listen to that exhaust. I mean, just idling it is awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo, that's a dirty sound, man. Here we go. Okay, I have driven this car for, I think, three kilometers. So... Now, so it 
has like a backfire. Jesus Christ, it's so hot in here because everything, I mean everything that doesn't have a racing purpose has been stripped. So that means the aircon is also gone and I'm like super hot now. I don't know why, but I have the idea that those cyclists don't like me. Why is that? Oh man, I'm feeling like I'm talking to no one because you can't hear me over the sound, but... Okay, let's quiet down and let's just say what this car is. It's fucking insane. much fun guys um, and the best news of the day is that this car is for sale because Hoop, the owner thank you so much by the way for letting me drive your car has decided to sell this car and get a new project car which is also going to give this treatment um, so that's really really cool um, I'm also thankful because I think in the last 10 minutes I've lost like a kilo in body weight just in fluids because I'm sweating like nothing else but it's worth it oh man I love this car I mean modern supercars performance cars BMW M3 Audi RS5 C63 AMG whatever they are just not as much fun as this is I mean this has 215 horsepower, just 15 horsepower extra uh, because of all that serious rally hardware. It even has the throttle manifold of a VW because for this car you just can't get an upgrade. So <laughs> it's like a Frankenstein. It, it's, it's insane. We have Clio Cup parts, we have Clio, Clio Rally parts, we have Clio 1.6 shopping mom parts but put them all together and you get this i mean how insane is that i've been driving this car for 10 minutes now and just downshifting it with a blip not a problem that's how intuitive this car is
it's been a bit different than usual not the autobahn i mean it doesn't make any sense with this car hope you love the video and i'm now going to bring it back to hoop and yeah maybe he'll sell it to me why not or sell it to you if you want to watch another video click right here if you want to subscribe to our channel click right here or go check out our review playlist right here thank you guys bye